Is the rush to Colorado over? Have people stopped moving to our fair state in droves? And is all the wonderful stuff that we know and love about Colorado less appealing to the public than it used to be? Well, this is a question posed by the Colorado Springs Gazette not too long ago. They analyze Colorado's population growth and point out that it has been falling really since 2015. And in 2021, the most recent year on record, it really fell off a cliff. Does that mean Colorado's population is gonna flatline or even start going backwards in the next few years. Let's take a look at the article to figure out what's going on. All right, so here it is from the Colorado Springs Gazette. It is an editorial from the editorial board. Is the rush to Colorado over? That's what they're asking. And they're talking about the great desirable things, the reasons people move to this state, the extraordinary beauty, the tranquility, the safety. They're saying straight up, the attraction has worn off. Making some sort of political point here. Um, I mean, we're seeing another editorial about drifters endangering Colorado communities. We see where this is going. But interestingly enough, they do actually get into the data here. Um, they, they look at the demographics here. And in 2015, nearly 58,000 people migrated to Colorado. In 2021, that number is less than 15,000. Big, big change. I mean, it, it's a major change. It's way less people than we've been accustomed to moving to Colorado every year. They point out too, this is good news in a way for people who've been here a long time, people who are kind of tired of more traffic, more busyness. You know, people complain about that stuff all the time. For Colorado native. Some of the time you may be upset that so many people have moved here, but it's an awesome place. So I don't know what you want me to do. It's all these things that come with a growing metro and a growing state. So I want to flip over and look at the actual data here to, to see what's going on. And this website here, USA Facts, actually has it in a helpful graph or chart, which is I like to look at things visually sometimes. So you do see in 2015, um, Colorado had a 1.9% population growth. It has steadily come down since then. And in 2021, it was just half a percent. And in 2020, it was actually slightly less than that. So these two last two years, the, the last two years on record, that's a significant change. That's no joke. And it has been coming down since its peak. What does this all mean? It could mean that the, you know, the secret's out and people feel like they missed it, has gotten busier. We are a city in Denver going through a lot of growing pains, traffic being a major one of them. And maybe that combined with, with housing prices and those sorts of things are enough to make people say, eh, I'd rather go somewhere else. If I'm looking for a Western Rocky Mountain type um, location that I want to move to and live in. Maybe it's not Denver. Maybe it's not Colorado. Maybe that's played out. Maybe it's it's Utah, Salt Lake City. Maybe it's uh, Boise, Idaho. Those places are becoming a little played out too, but maybe people are just broadening where they're going and it's not always Colorado. I don't have to ski just in Colorado. There's great skiing in Utah. There's great skiing in Wyoming, those sorts of things. But to be completely honest, guys, when I look at 2020 and 2021 and the drastic difference in population growth, I see this as a pandemic thing, almost purely. Because both of those years, I mean, are dramatically different from the ones before it, even if the population growth was coming down, you know, steadily and slowly before that. But during the pandemic, I mean, a lot of things changed and a lot of people sort of retooled and were able to sit back and say, okay, actually, where do I really want to live? And how do I want to live my life? And, you know, for many folks, the pandemic restrictions and the things that were very present, not just in 2020, but still very present in 2021, those things led them to make a move to a place that may have been more aligned with the way they thought those things should have been going. And had this pandemic not been present, those moves probably wouldn't have happened. I don't think Colorado was the most extreme in terms of pandemic response on either end, but there were a lot of extremes on a personal level that people had. And so if it wasn't going the way you wanted to, we saw people moving. California saw an exodus, you know, Texas had a big population bump, Florida, Tennessee, those types of states. And I'm wondering if what happened in Colorado and in Denver wasn't a, a mini version of what happened in, in California. How long will this last and will it rebound? Who knows? But the farther away we get from those lockdowns and pandemic restrictions, I expect to see this population growth come back up to the levels it was in, say, 2017, 2018. It is a fact of everybody knows that we're a city that's grown to a point that's no longer a charming Western cow town. Denver's a major city now, and that's not going to be for everybody. And if population growth 
growth does slow a little bit, that's probably net not a bad thing for our state. As I said before, I would love to be your go-to real estate guy for any sort of needs or just questions. If you want to bounce something off someone, I am your man. Um, I would love a call, text, or any of the other things that I post below are ways you can get in touch with me. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Oh,